What is up guys? Blim here and today we have some tournament content. Yup. But today we are not going to be discussing OU. But in fact we are going to be discussing a tier which is in fact the favorite of lots and lots of guys. So today we are going to be discussing this tier called Ubers. Now those of you who don't know Ubers is a tier which allows the usage of the legendary the overpowered Pokemon, so mo almost everything is allowed except uh, Mega Rayquaza in Gen 7 and recently uh, Zacian Crown Form was banned because it was too much in even for the Uber tier. So today we have some Uber tournament content. So basically there was this tour going on also called the Uber Ladders Tour and this is a great day. This is a top tier uh, in or in fact the best tour, one of the best tours in, in the Uber community. Just like there is a tool called oh, there is a tool called OLT, which is also called the official ladder ladder tour. In in that tour, uh, you have to you will be given a time of I think a week, and then you have to ladder using the specified alt which will be mentioned. And after a period of seven days, the top eight people having the highest elo or the highest points on the ladder are selected are qualified to pay the actual tour so similarly this uber ladder tour arc also called the ult has a similar concept basically after one week the top eight names on the uber ladder using the mentioned alt will qualify for the main tour and so today i'm going to be discussing cycle one so there are two cycles cycle one eight names will qualify and from cycle two which has started today, eight names will qualify. And cycle one has finished today. And I'm gonna be discussing cycle one because I have participated in cycle one. So basically, cycle one, I had signed up using my this account named ULT8RQ Cloud9 G2A. I had signed up using this account and it finished today. And these are the I will show you the rankings as well after round one. So the rankings are the top eight names. Top eight names who qualified for cycle one are will be at the bottom. So I will show that as well. So yep, yeah, these are the top eight names. And here, these are the top eight names who have qualified. So and out of these eight names, this number seven guy, this guy was banned. So top nine was considered because this number seven guy was banned. <coughs> so this is me. I secured the number seven spot. And the funniest thing here is that if you see everyone here all these names here just look at everyone's gxe and look at my gxe <coughs> like if you see the guy who is at number one he has a gxe of 87.6 and look at me my gxe is 91.4 i have the highest gxe among each and every one of them so yep i have qualified in cycle one having the highest gxe and i will show some of my replay games with some of these guys yep so i will show but before getting to the replays so those you who all didn't know cycle 2 has started so those of you who want to take part in cycle 2 create an alt using this username for so first it will be ult ultbg 7v and uh, ultb 7gv and you have to take any name after that it has been mentioned here like this cute kim so yep this will be you have to do this for cycle two so best of luck those who want to qualify for cycle two the top eight names will qualify so just make that all and post here like these guys have done post here and you will be good to go and start laddering okay now i will tell you uh, how i qualified i will tell you the ticks and trips of how i qualified so as i showed you right i have a very high gxc and let's just check how many games these guys have played why is the gxc solo and so my so this guy who secured number one spot, this uh, ULT8RQ Farthin, ULT8RQ, this guy. So this guy has played so many games, 157 games. Let's check some more. So this guy, uh, let's check this guy. This guy has hidden his record, so we won't. We will ignore him. This guy is hidden. Let's check this Lunala. This Lunala guy. I think she is a moderator as well. So let's check how many games this guy has played. 
Oh my god, this guy has played 289 games. Now just see, check mine. Check mine. See, I have qualified by playing just 50, 51 games. Just 51 games. This is why my GX is so high. So, the main trick uh, to qualify for this tour is so basically, after you cross the ladder rating of 1500, let's say when you cross 1500, because you, as you see right here, the last, the last the last point who what qualified is 762 so it's not that much so basically when you achieve an elo of 1500 so after that be very careful whatever you play so just don't try to play so many games like 289 games 157 games doesn't make any sense right so after you reach an elo of 1500 after you reach an elo of 1500 just whatever you play try to lose less try to lose less make sure to just keep a watch because all these games are public so you will understand like what people are using based on that try to make your team try to plan a lot try to counter strategize and basically just don't lose that much so once start once you the main thing is that the main thing why people fail to qualify once you start tilting the frustration sets up once you start tilting the frustration sets up and you think that okay i lost once i will win the next three so like again you are playing three games and out of those three you lost maybe two again you are thinking that okay i have to reach back to my original spot you are playing more five and like that you keep tilting and let's say that you went in 1700s and from there you reached again 1500 so like that frustration sets in and finally you decide to quit so like that you won't be able to qualify so just after you reach 1500 be very careful whatever you play very strategize very well keep a calm head think each and every turn think each and every turn and so like that that is the only way to qualify and this is why see i have got such a high jxc so after crossing 1500 i haven't lost a single game i had lost till 1500 i had lost four games two due to disconnection one this guy had counter team me this guy had counter team me so i lost one game and one game i couldn't do anything i had a bad matchup but after 1500 i just just lost only one game and that loss was so bad you know this loss was so bad that loss was like Opponent Zygarde sets up at plus 6. My Zygarde sets up at plus 6. But I have more PP. So he, and he was trapped as well. because I could switch. But he was trapped. Because I had 1000 waves. He was trapped. But I was at plus 6. He was, he was at plus 6 defense. I was at plus 6. He crits me. He crits me. And then couldn't do anything. I still could have won. Yeah, I still could have won. Because my... Uh, my... Uh, what is called? This Poison Dragon. This Poison Dragon. Eternatus was going to sweep him. But yeah. I ran out of PP. So yeah, he crit me plus six. So that was the only game which I lost. But yeah, I would have six sword him. If my Zygarde was alive, his Zygarde would have died and he would have got six sword. That was the only game I lost. Now let's get to the interesting part. Let's discuss some of my games versus some of these guys who qualified. First, this guy. This guy, if you are dead, fired in, fired in. He secured the number one spot. So just see, this is my game versus him. So I will discuss. So looking at the looking at his team, looking at the leads. I expected him so in Ubers either they are gonna lead up with the Kyogre or and he has some Tapu Coco and bullshit so I think that he might lead up with the Coco. So I planned my lead. I think I lead up with Eternatus. Let's see. Okay, lead up with me. Oh, what does he lead up with? As I said in Ubers, they always lead up with the Kyogre. So let's see what they do here. So he he I don't know why he didn't he switched off to his Blissey. I think he predicted the Eternatus or something. That's why he Switched off to his Blissey, but if you have a Kyogre lead and Ho, if you have a Kyogre lead and Ho, always throw a Water Spot because, if, especially if you are Specs, because if you are Specs, Water Spot is 2 it kills Blissey, it 2 it kills Standard Chance, it 2 it kills Eternator, so yep, always go for the Water Spot. So I don't know why I switched here. Now let's play along. I go to my Necrozma because Blissey can't do anything except going for the Rocks. Go for my Rocks. Here he goes to his Mamoswine on my Eternate, he makes a really nice predict, but. I think this Mamoswine is totally walled by my Ho. So let's see what he goes for. Goes for. This goes for the knock, I think. <coughs> Knocks off my boots now. I have pressure to defog and pressure to defog. So I go. I think I go for the toxic or the defog. I go for the defog now. This Coco can't do anything to my Ho. We trade toxics. Yep. And now we trade toxic. He goes to the Mamoswine. Now Mamoswine can't do anything to my Necrozma because Necrozma, Prism Armor and it's really, really bulky. So it can't do anything to my Necrozma. So I try to Go for my rocks. He goes for the earthquake. See, it does nothing. I knocked off his focus sash. Uh, now I think I'm gonna throw up the morning suns. Yep, please. Mamoswine can't do anything. I'm gonna pick up this Mamoswine. Yep, because I don't need my uh, this for anything. I don't need my Necrozma for anything. So 
Yep, I think I'm gonna sack my Necrozma. So, yep, play along. Goes to the YV. So I don't need my Necrozma here, so I think I trade off a knockoff. Yep, now he's pressure to defog as well. His boots are gone. And I go to Meternators because YV can't do anything to Meternators. So now he's scared of <clears throat> what he goes into. Goes to the Blissey. <clears throat> but yep, we are Meteor Beam. So this Blissey, I think. Do we kill this Blissey? So I put, he is going for the Confide, boosting myself. And yep, at this point, he thought that he was just wasting time. Well, wasting time. Yep, he just ran for his life. So he, this is how I 6 would him. He couldn't win because I had Meteor Beam and Pressure. Confide, he couldn't win. And the remaining team he couldn't break because my his Kyogre is walled by my Chansey. Omungas can do anything. This is poison. This is walled by my Eternators. This is this is walled by my Ho. -Oh. This is walled by my Zygarde. This is walled by Weevil. So he can't do anything. So yep, this was. And this guy, this guy is super annoying. He just kept on counter teaming me. He, he whenever I was there, he kept on counter teaming me. So yep, but to no avail, he couldn't stop me. So yep, this was one replay. Now <clears throat> Getting back to my second replay versus uh, Lunala. Lunala secured a number 4 spot. Yep, Lunala is a really good player. So, respect to him. So, this is the replay. So, looking at his team, Aerodactyl, HO lead, HO spam. So, yep. I thought that Aerodactyl lead. So, versus Aerodactyl, I can't. He's, they always run, run Sash. So, I thought that maybe if I lead Necrozma something, I might. I don't have Sunset Strike. So, I can't tweet kill him. So, I thought that maybe I will lead up with Meternators and tweet kill with the uh, Dynamics Cannon. So that I thought. So yep, go. He goes to his adductor. Goes for the taunt. I go for the Dynamax cannon, and now he goes for his rocks. I go for my cannon. So yep, this is a dead adductor. He goes to his YV. I go for oh this YV can't do anything to me. I think I go for the Dynamax cannon. Yep, Chip, because this YV is a huge threat to my team. Now he goes for the taunt. I think I pick it off. Okay, I plan on going for the toxic. Goes to the Xerneas. On my dynamics, but this Xerneas can't do anything, so I think I predict him to switch. He goes for the Geomancy, and I will speed up the turn because this Xerneas can't do anything to my Chansey, so I wasn't scared at all. And as I said, right after 1500, whichever game you play, be 100% sure whatever you do, don't make any misplay. See, this guy again joined scouting. Yep, this guy was super annoying, kept on counter teaming and counter strategizing in against me. Now, mm, here is a stall so I will. So as you see, Focus Blast plus two doesn't do anything to my Chansey. Kept going and trying to stall it out, stall it out, stall it out. I stalled out all his Geomancies, brought it low, and finally I think I killed him. Yep, I stole out his Eternatus. Yep, Focus Blast doesn't do anything. So yep, now, mm, now let's get back. Yep, now I think I kill off this Xerneas with my Chansey. Yep, this Ch Xerneas couldn't do anything to my Chansey. Now here. He goes to the YV, right? So here I could have saved my Chansey, but I need my Chansey for the Eternators. Because my, this Eternators can be a problem. And my Chansey still can solo the Eternators. So this is why I saved my Chansey. And my Eternators are totally useless here. It's already has done its job, so I sack my Eternators here. Yep. <clears throat> still, Eternators doesn't die because of my secret EVs. Now I think I go to my Ho because this YV can't do anything to my Ho. My Ho has done its job. I know my Wincon. And after this YV dies, my y my YV is gonna solo. My YV is gonna solo his this Calyrex and Marshadow, and this Eternatus is gonna get soloed by my Chansey. So basically, yep, here I yep, here he know he couldn't win. So killed up the Eternatus. I think he goes to his Calyrex. I gave him my Chansey. I go to my YV here. Uh, I think he goes for the draining kiss. It doesn't do it doesn't do anything. Sash, okay, I think I pull up the roost here. Goes to the Marshadow, he goes for the bulk up, I think. But we are a special why we said this Marshadow can't do anything to us, and we have foul play. Bulk up, he goes for the bulk up, and it is gonna just pop. We just pop this Marshadow. Now we have we have short foul play, we have short roost. So little does he know we have sucker punch as well. So I just destroy this Marshadow with a sucker punch, and this point of time he couldn't win and he forfeited. This was gonna be my second game versus Lunala. Very good player. Respect to him for using HO, respect to him. Now, for my most important game, which secured my qualification. This was the game which secured my qualification. And looking at his team, oh my god. I just felt so scared looking at his team. Because I thought that maybe I couldn't win. Because this, this matchup was totally unwinnable. So first, my ho will get stalled out by his Toxapex. My ho can do anything versus his Toxapex. Ho my Necrozma can't do anything because we don't have Sunspill Strike. We are not HD, we are not DD. So basically, by his Lunala will solo this. 
my why we can't do anything versus slap because we are not oblivion wing offensive taunt we are foul play sucker punch so oh, why we this clef is gonna solo my why we then i had my zygarde my zygarde is totally wall by his shedinja his lunala zygarde can't do anything to a lunala so yep that's there and chancy can't do anything versus useless versus tall maybe only some heal bills and eternators eternators can put in some work i had only hope on eternators but still he has this this thing and i had changed my eternators i didn't have flamethrower so this thing was gonna be a huge problem to eternators and so <clears throat> i will play this in fast so i thought that i will just play along try to <laughs> yeah let me tell you what i thought my game plan was i thought that <laughs> my game plan was <laughs> okay let me finish my laugh <laughs> my game plan was to stall his pp <laughs> getting my eternators in as much as possible stall his pp yep <laughs> i know i know i'm stupid but this was my game plan so just see how I'm kept on making switches kept on making switches yeah this was my game plan stall out his pp i will move to the pivotal part where things started turning out so here as i said i go to my zygarde on the coil but his red ninja was my zygarde i couldn't do anything here see i kept on switching i was planning on here i go for the toxic on his club because maybe i thought that it might be unaware but that also turned out magic guard so i kept on switching <laughs> he, and i had no clue what to do he knocks on my boots now i will tell you the part where i thought that i couldn't do anything i will just show the part i had some hope but yeah i lost hope i will get to that part yeah see i am keep keeping on switching my plan was to waste his pp i think this is the part so no not this this was a very long game mm, not here uh, so yeah i see i kept on switching defogging if he has knocked off everything <laughs> yeah so this is the part maybe i had some hope maybe if i could so if i could uh, solo this necrozma then i might win because I am getting this meteor beam boost, right? So if I kill this necrosma, then everything will die. This is not animal cliff. This will die. Pex will die. YV will die. I have meteor beam and toxic as well. So Sedinja will die. Lunana will get destroyed. I think here I went for the meteor beam. No, uh, I will get to that part. So yeah, the something similar happened. So let me get to that part here. Here, I went for the meteor beam. I am keeping on boosting myself. He goes for the sunsteel strike. I go for the dynamics cannon. So here, see here, hmm. here. And plus two, right? So I thought that maybe uh, he might predict me and go for the SD or something. I was totally it wasn't working, so I thought to go for the dynamic. Maybe crit kill dynamics cannon. So, but yeah, my eternators was at twelve percent, ten percent is gonna die to rock. So because here I gave up hope. See, I'm making switches, 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 switches. I'm keeping on making switches. <clears throat> so, but here, here I make a really good play. <laughs> I predict him to go to the cliff, and I <clears throat> brought my eternators. So I had little bit more hope. I brought my eternators healthy. So this rocks was gonna rocks was killing me just killing me so bad <coughs> he taunts me again i think he taunts me again yep i couldn't do anything <coughs> uh, yeah i just gave up hope i couldn't do anything <coughs> i will get to the part i will get to that part but things started turning along here i made some predictions i made some predictions let me show you where i said where there is blame there is hope we never give up here uh not here's 145 turns oh my god i just gave up i just gave up here <coughs> uh <coughs> it's wasting turns he freezes me doesn't matter <coughs> uh curse can't do anything goes for the waste can't do anything <coughs> yeah so here here is one part yeah here is one part i will show you here is one part so <coughs> So basically, his YV had taunt, and taunt just shuts down my. Uh, yeah, I, in the meantime, my Eternatus was dead. So whatever hope I had sweeping his team with Eternatus, that was also gone. And <clears throat> my hope with Eternatus was also gone. And now I just had no. So I thought that yep, I was done. I will give up. And yep, I was done. So yep, basically that's there. Now here, 
and this why we had taunt is gonna shut down my entire team with taunt so yep i thought that my why my cloud nine ul3 run was over but here i predict him to go for the taunt and uh, no sorry i predict him to roost and i go for the, i go for the yep this last turn go to the last turn go to the last turn go to the last turn he goes to the pecs here right now here i was sure that he was gonna waste my he is gonna predict my secret for his his yv and better a toxic and uh, better to toxic the yv than burn it sorry better to burn the yv than toxic it i was sure he was gonna switch to his yv i think here i go for the toxic yep and now this yv is slow i was pretty i just couldn't just switch his YV is low, talking, taking toxic damage. I am fine with sacking my hoe, wasting all my sacred fire PP, but I cannot let this taunt YV come in. So, yep, I am going for the sacred fire here, and now his YV is low. Okay, now here I have to make a sacrifice. I have to let rocks at my field. My boots are knocked up everything. So, it so risk, risk. His YV can't come in. My hoe on YV also can't come in if he gets up the rocks. So, I have to try my best to prevent the clip from getting my procs because his YV is down his YV is cannot his YV cannot switch to rocks and he has no defogger this is was the step one where I broke him okay let's play along now again kept on making switches Lula Allah Ice Beam yeah okay uh, kept on making switches and stuff here here we trade up rocks he goes for the heal well so now now I will show you wait 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 so i was thinking may i was cl clicking random buttons with my chancy couldn't do anything because i don't have toxic don't have toxic kept on rolling really nice plays here also here i made a really good play i toxic is lunala sacrificing my home if my so next time my home comes in it will be at 55 percent so basically whenever my home comes in it has to come in on a free turn or i sack something and bring in my home so i sacrifice the toxic for my home and but as i say high sacrifice high reward so now this lunala is pressured by my zygarde yep he has to pull the hill bell off with his cliff or his lunala is gonna will be dead and my zygarde has toxic i didn't show him my zygarde is toxic so it's gonna destroy his team why we will die shedinja is gonna die and plus six zygarde will just destroy his team because his cliff is not unaware i decided to make a trade-off so here my blim iq is growing a bit by bit now still i'm switching here he here where things had to turn. He goes to his cliff, right? Let's me make it normal. He will well. Wait, see how I catch him here. Now here, here, here where I make my god play. So now I have showed earthquake, right? He earthquake isn't to it showing him at all. I have just ten earthquake peepees, but I was I kept on see I kept on clicking earthquake, 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 earthquake. But little did he know. I am blim. He is thinking that he has the control, but I am blim. Actually, he never had the control. The control was with me. Just see what I do here. Making it really, really slow. This turn. Just see what I do here. I am wasting my earthquake PPs for chip on the cliff because if his cliff is dead, I can freely defog and get up my own rocks. So I am going for the earthquake, but did little did he know. Just watch. Just watch. It's really slow, right? Just watch. Just watch. 34. I couldn't let this let him make let me make it slow. I couldn't let this cleft heal up. Just watch. Goes to the Lunala. Lunala, right? Make it normal. Lunala. Earthquake. <clears throat> now. Bang. Boots gone. Boots gone. Boots is gone. Now knock off 4x. Just see how I bring drop down the Lunala. Just see. Bang. 76. Now if he stays in, he's dead. Goes to the cliff. Knock off. Earthquake. Moonblast. Okay. I think I go for the earthquake again. Earthquake. Now here this guy was saying something in French. Maybe ghosting, helping his friend in French. I don't know. I have no clue what this guy was doing. He thought he had the control. Right. Make it. I'm I pretty sure that I see I was keeping keep on going for the earthquake. Trying to make the cleft low, but little did you know, I am blim. Earthquake, soft boiled. My earthquakes were getting low. I had only five left. 
goes to the Shedinja. I had five earthquake left. I am continuously going for the earthquake. Just see what Blim does here. Bang! <laughs> Bang! Go on! Predict him that he is going to go to the Shedinja. He is not going to go to his Necrozma. He is not going to go into the Pegs. I predict him to go for the Shedinja. Go on! Shedinja, go on! Zygarde freed. Gone. Destroyed. Shedinja is gone. This was the banger. Let's play along. Let's play along. Let's play along. Here, I think at a point of time, I go for the defog. So, I think I am forced to go for the defog. He heals up his Lunala. So, here I made a bad play. I should have killed the Lunala. But, yeah. Made a bad play. So, his Lunala is back to full. Oh, god damn it. God damn. Again, so much. So much. Huh, I think let me go to the part where I defog. I think I defog here. I I have to defog here or else I lose. I think I defog here. I have to I think I defog at a certain point. I will keep pressing toxic. Let's go to that part. Where I defog. Yep, here I think I defog for sure. I have to defog, right? Yeah, here I defog. Okay, now I will just put the nail in the coffin. Let's get to that play. Okay. Scald. Now here. The nail in the coffin. Scald, right? Scald. Rocks are free. His his wife is faster than me. His wife is faster than me. Rocks are gone. Now I'm my wife is at low. Any chance of killing the necrosma, his necrosma is gonna destroy me. I have to keep my YV at full always. Because his necrosma is 88% and foul play won't kill the necrosma. And I am I will die to Sunsteel Strike if he ever goes. Here. So I am forced to roost. I am forced to roost. And I roost, he goes to his YV and heals up. But watch. I predict him to go for the YV. I predict him to go for his YV and look what I do here. Bang. Came over. Destroyed. GG. GG. You give Blim an unwillable matchup, Blim is gonna destroy you. And here I just moved to 782. And just like that, I qualify. And I said I haven't lost a game since 4 days. So before 4 days I climbed from 1500. Since that I didn't, didn't lose a single game. Uh, yeah, I had lost one. That was due to my secret, my Zygarde at plus six. So, yep, this unwillable matchup, we have one as well. Just like that, we have qualified for round one. We have qualified for round one with uh, with the highest GXC on everyone, with the lowest games played and the highest GXC. 91.4 GXC, we played just 51 games. Yep. So, Wish me luck for the playoffs. I have qualified for ULT playoffs. Wish me luck. And I will bring some really heat for playoffs as well. And guys, those who want to play for the second cycle, second cycle is live. I will share the link in my video description. If you have any questions regarding anything, please feel free to reach out my wall. So this is my wall. Uh, someone, some of you were asking, so how to reach my wall. I always keep, so uh, let me open. Uh, so this is my wall. If you just search for, search here, search for user. See, Blimax, search for user Blimax. I think you need to search twice. So yeah, so just click my name from Blimax. Just click my name here. Click my name and you will find my wall. See, a lot of people, they want to try this. And so just write my wall. If you have any queries regarding anything, you want anything, you want to have it, just write in my wall. I will surely get back to you. So, yep. So this is going to be my ULT climb to the ULT climb for qualifications. Hope you guys will find this video really informative so, and I will really wish every one of you all the best of luck. As, as usual guys, which I always say, like and subscribe to my channel. We are growing really fast and next video will be a heat SSOU or maybe Ubers try to help you guys. guys. And if you also guys want me to use some heat stuff or you want me to do something, please reach out to my wall. I will try to keep your request and you see, always try to keep out your request. So yep. And guys have fun and most importantly guys stay safe. Bye bye from your man Blim.